Hey, it's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Yakima Skybox NX16 rooftop cargo box and how it fits on our 2021 Mazda CX-5. So with the CX-5, we have a decent amount of storage in the back and we can fold those second rows down if we really need to. But in the event that you're traveling with a handful of people, you run out of storage really quickly, or maybe you just have some longer, larger items or something that's messy and you'd rather get it up on the roof and you still want it to be secure and protected while you're driving. This is a great way to do so. So let's check out a little bit more about how it works. To open it up, we will need the key. We'll need to turn it to the unlock position and pull this lever down. And then we can lift it up. You can see that it is hinged and it helps me lift it up a little bit. So I'm down here. I didn't need to put that much force in it to lift it up and it will stay open. So I don't need to constantly hold it while I'm loading and unloading gear. Taking a look at the inside of our box now, you can see we have 16 cubic feet of space to get anything we want in there as long as it fits within that range. Also, we have some raised ridges so we can store our items and they'll be a little bit elevated so in the event that they do get sandy or icy or snowy, that will funnel into those ridges and it won't be rubbing up on our gear while we're storing it. On the top of the clamps here, you can see that there are built-in points for us to put some straps through if we want to secure our gear while we're moving. Also, you can see that there is this built-in strip here so we can slide this up and down to accommodate different crossbar spreads if we want to. Clamps will work with this gear shaped knob. Just fit it in to the front and you can tighten and loosen it as you need to to slide it up that channel to accommodate those spreads that I just mentioned. Taking a look at the clamps themselves you can see that they are a nice protective material and they're fitting currently around our round crossbars and they still hold really securely. So as I'm turning this knob, you can see that it'll start to loosen up. And then I can twist it to tighten it again. And it'll start securing itself against our crossbars once again. They're really nice and easy to work with. Just remember that when you're loading up the box, you want to make sure that you're putting the box a little bit more forward just because you have to come back on it. It's much easier to do that than it is to move them forward afterwards. Another nice little feature is that they have this string or lanyard that comes down from the top. So if I'm all the way down here at the bottom, I can just pull the lid closed towards me and then I can tuck that back inside if I want to to get it out of the way and close it up. You'll note that that indicator disappeared. So if I open it back up, that red indicator will show up. That means it's not quite locked all the way. If I put this down again, you'll see it snap into place and I won't be able to get the key out until I do reach that point. We have our box loaded up in the center of our crossbars in our case because it is able to open up from both sides as long as you have that key. So if we want to be able to access it from both sides, we can just load it up in the middle. If you want it to be a little closer on one side, just to make it easier for you to load and unload from one side specifically, you can do that too. If you're curious to know how much height you're going to be adding onto your crossbars, the box will sit 15 inches tall. So measure the height of your roof rack system add 15 inches on, that's how high it's going to stick up in case you're curious about clearance issues or if you want to maybe store this in your garage when you're not using it. So one of the benefits of this carrier again is that flat base so we can slide it up and down the crossbars to accommodate different spreads. If we want to we can avoid a sun or moon roof if we need to or we can make it so we have enough room to open up our hatch. So let's get this open and check out how much room we have on the CX-5. As you can see with it fully open, the box is in a pretty neutral position. We still have four or five inches of space there for us to get clearance to get into our hatch. The box is made of a durable yet lightweight ABS plastic with a scratch resistant automotive finish. It also has a dimpled carbonite texture which will help reduce some of that wind drag. Or granted that anytime you have something on your roof this big, you're definitely gonna know that it's there and there will be some drag. Overall, if you're looking for a great storage solution that's going to help you get some sandy, muddy, dirty items, something that you don't want in your interior, maybe just have some longer items like skis and snowboards, things that you want to keep on your roof, but keep them protected at the same time, the Yakima Skybox NX16 is definitely a really solid choice. I like the material, I like how the clamps work, and I think that it's going to do a good job keeping my gear safe while keeping itself looking nice for years to come. Again, this was just a quick look at how that Yakima Skybox NX16 fits on our 2021 Mazda CX-5.